Hoy somos bendecidos con la presentación de una de estas reveladoras conferencias titulada Cambiando el cielo y la tierra parte 3 de 3 en Entre la Maestra y los discípulos dada en inglés el 24 de marzo del 2012 en Francia. In Canada, same is dangerous in winter. I know that, I know that. I was in your country and I went to Halifax. Oh, yeah. We never heard you went to Halifax. We heard you went to Kingston. Same, same. Okay, no, I went there to do some charity work, yeah? Because the man was having no, no gloves, something, and he has fr frostbite. And he has to go to the hospital, and he's a homeless person, you know, very poor person, and he has frostbite, and... It was uh, terrible. He went out to try to work, but he has no gloves. And so, uh, so I heard about that on TV. So I went there and bring him some money and buy a lot of gloves and big winter jacket and all that for him. Because first I went, I went there by aeroplane. It's okay. The weather was fine. Even the winter, but it was clear. When we came back, no, the aeroplane has to return to the airport. And I had some... Uh, I don't know, maybe some conference or something already arranged. I cannot stay another day, even though they don't charge you anymore. They give you hotel and everything, you know. But I have to risk it to go by taxi, come back to the other town. So we, we hire a taxi, a woman taxi. And then she drives uh, just uh, for or maybe 10 minutes. And then, and then I don't know the... Maybe it's too icy or something. At that day, they they even warned that you should not drive. Yeah, already because it was very strong weather. But she agreed to to drive anyway because I give her double. Yes, but I had to go. Mm. And then uh, she drive and just about five ten minutes. I don't know what happened. She just drive straight into a hill of of uh, uh, on the roadside, uh, snow or something. And then the car was tipped over. Uh, thank God the snow stopped it. Otherwise, it would go further into the deep down there, and then I don't know where I would have been right now, reincarnated as a baby, crying, wah, wah. <laughs> so, oh, that was scary. And then, uh, so we don't let her drive anymore. So I asked if she let us drive for her. But I have to watch all the time. I have to drive with him. He's physically doing it, but I have to guide him. Every step, like stop here, slow down. Uh, over there, you have to do this, you know. Uh, ten more minutes, you cannot do it. This speed and things like that. You know, every little corner, every inches, I have to drive with him. I didn't have a license, he has. so, <laughs> But I had to drive. It was so exhausting. We drive all the way home, but very tiring. Your Canada weather is, wow, my God. All the while, it's just snowing, snowing. You almost don't see two meters in front. And the light just flashed back at you, even if you, you turn on the big light, it flashed back at you. You know that, don't Yeah, yeah. Ooh. And we made it home, believe it or not. But I advise the driver, you know, I give her some money to stay in the hotel. I say, you don't drive back now. You drive back when you are better and when the weather is okay. I know that very well. I almost died that day also. <laughs> Even the taxi driver. I, I have just told you that all the taxi driver, okay, with this exception. But it was the weather also, you know, because they told us we shouldn't go. Shouldn't drive that day. But I had to risk it to go. Yeah, how come you come you live in Canada? It's very bad weather for driving. Yeah, this is this better? year is better and the temperature high like twenty four. Mm hmm Wow. Yeah. Really? Hmm. It's not that cold actually, you know, I mean it's cold but it's not somehow I don't feel it. It's okay. Uh when you go somewhere like in the mall or home it's warm. On the outside, but it didn't stay outside too much. Uh -huh. If you stay outside long, maybe you feel it, but I didn't feel too bad. It was like 40 degrees below already. And I just wear those, uh, like the jacket, yeah, like that. 
and inside uh, you know the the thing that seems similar like that and some uh, under under uh, thermal you know no normal underwear need long john and stuff that's it and it didn't feel too bad but inside the house they insulate very well they even sell those uh, plastic so that you you even tape your window shut and you can feel it you know it blow up inside like a balloon because <laughs> inside is warm outside cold and it blow and the plastic swollen up you know <laughs> it was cute your country <laughs> third 40 below zero eh but you don't feel that much in the house it's, it's doing they're doing well and in the car you don't feel cold i wonder why you know i thought i, I never lived under 40 below zero before i thought i would die you know but i didn't yeah <laughs> how are your country other country has has the weather ever been below 40 yes yes minus 30 where are you finland oh of course finland <laughs> This is the end of the world. <laughs> Almost near North Pole, right? Yeah, wow. Yes, I always wonder how people live in such country. No, in winter time you walk faster, then it's okay. It go fast? Yeah, I mean winter time when you are outside you just walk faster. You walk faster? Yeah. And you don't feel like And the winter cannot catch up with you or some? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. But it, it doesn't feel because it comes progressively. Uh -huh. So it's like body, minus 10 and then minus 20 and then oh, minus you already 17. get yeah, used to it. Used uh -huh. to it. Uh -huh. Yes, so truly, I didn't feel that cold in Canada. I mean, I was surprised. I thought I would have to bundle up with, you know, all the vegan fur coat, cover up everything, uh, the cover except the eyes. But I didn't have to. I just wear normal like this, just this kind of fleece jacket. Yeah, and people go joking and skiing when it's minus 15. So. Oh, yeah? So, yeah. Mm. What? You want to say something? Say it. No, that I just wanted to add that in Finland also with that very cold weather, uh, like minus 10, minus 15, people even uh, cycle to work. Oh. Yes, wow. really. Wow. Yeah, yeah. They're my heroes. You have a special tire, like the front tire oh, yeah, of the yes. bike has studded tire. Oh, uh -huh, to grip the, yeah, the exactly. ice yeah. so it don't slip yeah. away. Uh -huh, and, wow. then, uh, and then they go very easy. Wow, I mean. very easy. <laughs> <laughs> There's only, always a solution for any problem, right? People always survive, eh? right? Yeah, I, I'm, it's okay like in Toronto or something where we are, but I wonder how do people live in, you know, like, had look something like a little bit further north. Still, some people live there. Yeah, yeah. Maybe half the the tall, like the even higher. Oh, then it's even much colder. Because yeah. that is fun. But also fun. You can some native people. They live in a further north. You know, further from the city. Yes. You know, the Indian something. Very far away from um, Toronto, near North Pole. They live there. Phew, my God. How people survive, eh? I mean, they don't even have uh, central heating or anything. Hmm? The Eskimo? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, I also wonder, you know, like in a mountain huh, where I live, at night could be very, very cold, but I wonder how the, the mosquito survive next day, he flies again. <laughs> huh. He don't have a house or heat or nothing. Okay, you know, all the butterfly, the moth, they look so tender, so fragile. But they're okay, man. In the morning, they just fly around. Or the bees, even. How do they do that? I mean, we humans have to build insulation and house and still insulate more and still for freezing. Hey, we are really no good. <laughs> Sensitive. <laughs> Too sensitive, over super sensitive. How can we say that we are the best of the creation? We couldn't even bear what they bear. Yeah? You know, they're also sensitive, but I don't know how they do it. Uh, when I was in Florida, even even though it never snow or something, Florida center, yeah. But at night, it was so cold, so cold, so cold. Um, and I saw some bird just standing on top of a barren tree at night there, just like that, standing there. And I feel so sorry for him, but perhaps he didn't feel anything. 
And like the swan, you know, he swim all night to protect his net in that freezing uh, temperature north of France. Even two, three degrees, very, very cold. You know what I mean? I have a tent, I still feel cold, but he's just circling around in the water. He don't go to sleep. My God, what a devoted parent. If we are so devoted like that, we could become Buddha, all of you, in no time. Hmm? But it is a funny thing that we, we are also very devoted in many ways, but not spiritually very much. We could work easily 10 hours, 12 hours a day to provide comfort for ourselves or just to buy a new car or, you know, to give more comfort to the families and to give children a better schooling, you know, better university or something. But we sit a little bit more hour, we feel very, very, you know, uh, burdened. Yeah. Why it's very hard to go back to heaven. It's hard to go back to heaven, yeah. That's why. Yes, this this physical world just condition us to to work for it, you know. Mm. It's just so attractive to see the new car, and you just have to buy it, and or new gadget. <laughs> but heaven, so what, you know? <laughs> I mean, heaven can wait some like two hours and a half, everybody always asks me, so long, so long, you know, before initiation, can we meditate like half an hour or 20 minutes and a half, remember? Or even maybe some of you would ask me that question, even not directly, but maybe in your head, two and a half hour? <laughs> Just to get a ticket to go back to heaven? Heaven is not cheap, is it? <laughs> But two and a half hours is nothing compared to 24 hours, you know. Some people even do two jobs, you know, day and night, just to, to make ends meet or to afford more things for the family. But when we come to sit and meditate, it's very difficult to, to, to do one or two more extra hours. Isn't that not so? Yeah. Except when you go group meditation like this, everybody sit, then you're, you're too embarrassed to go out, so you just sit together. <laughs> But at home, it's difficult to make yourself sit, no? That's why it's better to go group meditation. So you, at least you train yourself, yeah? Even if you're embarrassed to get out, but then slowly it becomes a habit. And then you're not embarrassed to go out, you just sit there. Understand naturally, no? Now you sit okay, right? Better than me, huh? <laughs> you don't move one inch, huh? except your mind run all over a direction. <laughs> One of the journalists came here and take photograph while you were meditating. And they came and take photo, and they even report that with all the flash camera going on, none of the people here even bat an eyelash. <laughs> they don't know. You're not batting your eyelash. You're just batting in here, <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> But uh, you're good, you're getting better, all of you, much brighter, yeah? And cleaner, and more, more on purpose, you know? More concentrated, huh? More focused, yes, yes. I'm very happy with you, <laughs> all of you. Okay, that's it, right? It's all your fault, so we... <laughs> talk another half an hour, it's all his fault, because he understands my driver. <laughs> he is so loving and kind, and he wants to even be my driver. <laughs> yes. Okay, thanks for your offer anyway. I would have loved it, but I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> Never mind, don't worry, I survive. Let's meditate, okay? Thank you for all your love. I feel your love very much. Mm. And thanks for being good kids, <laughs> doing a lot of good job, a lot of good job in the world, a lot. Being good is already doing a good job, okay? Yeah. Because we're all connected. If you're doing good, you're being good. People feel it. We're all connected, yes? At least we are better than the monkeys. You know, yeah, no, the monkeys. <laughs> you don't know the story? Like, 
Somebody teach a monkey or a small group of monkey to drink with a glass somewhere far away. And the other group in the jungle in Africa never met each other. They also know how to learn uh, to, to drink with a glass without being taught. See what I mean? Yes. So if we are good, we are already a very uh, offer a good service to society. We are already doing some good job, hmm? invisibly. All right? So meditation is even more effective because at that time your purpose is to be one with God. That's very clear, you see? Even you're trying and you are very successful sometimes, but <laughs> at least your purpose is pure, yes? You really want that. Yeah. And that's how it affects the whole world, and we are lifting up. You see what I mean? Examples is better than thousands of worlds. An invisible, purposeful, good intention, holy example is even more and more powerful. Understand? That's why my meditation helps the world. That's why your meditation helps the world. You know, maybe in lesser degree, but it helps, yeah? I have to be strong and powerful. I have to be more yeah, meditation, more in, in concentration and more in those, you know? That's why I went on retreat. Yes. Even if you say you're a master or anything, you still need to to be stronger, you know, to to dilute all the, the influence of the world and all the impurity that latch on to your beings while you're in here. Hmm? Okay? I'm much purer now, very much, very much. I'm as pure as it gets. <laughs> and I can't believe that I can get that pure. <laughs> I mean, don't look any different, huh? but the purity is not something you can touch or you can see. The purity that uh, from the mind and the soul, yes, and the spiritual aspect. Every day I get billions and billions of spiritual merit points, and that's how it helps. <laughs> no, the more you go higher, the, the more you get. You understand? Like, for example, I sit in the same place, you know, maybe in this seat, for many years, but I didn't get that much until lately. You know, the higher you go, the, 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 the quicker you assimilate and the more you can draw from the spiritual energy of the universe. Hmm? Hmm. And we can really, how you say, um, you can really change heaven and earth. Change, you can change. You can fix, you can, you can move things. In Chinese they say, yi san tao hai. But you can move heaven and earth as well, not just move mountains. Yes. Okay, continue. So we can move everything. <laughs> move forward. can move, you know, heaven gates to where we want. <laughs> yeah, it's heaven. it happens, it happens. Or heaven will move it for us, because we're worthy. See, understand, understand? Yeah. Before, this one didn't have any heaven gate. I told you, remember? <sighs> A lot now. <laughs> so now, when you sit here with me, you don't just earn hundreds or thousands anymore. You earn at least hundreds of thousands of points, or millions of points, yes. Wow. Or millions of millions of millions of points. Oh, I forgot, I don't earn just billions of points, I earn billions of billions of zillion of zillions. Wow. <laughs> I forgot, it's, it's the zillion of zillion at the end. You know, like if I say four billions, something, million, hundreds of thousands, and zillion of zillions. Not just the billions, but the billion zillions of zillions. Do you understand? Oh, well, I am lazy to count. <laughs> so it's too much now that I had to cut it off. Like, no, no, not throw away, no, 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 I mean, for example, it's too much and my diary is too small, you know. 
So I have to write, for example, sometime like 400 billion plus bon, 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 zillions of zillion instead. Or, and then after a while, I just say like, uh, like 400,000 uh, something millions of zillions of zillion <laughs> plus February, <laughs> for example, like that. <laughs> or plus uh, January and February and March. Because otherwise, uh, how I write it. You know, I, I lost track of count, but I, I keep track. But it's too much to write, you understand? Even zillion of zillions, <laughs> still too much billions in the front. Yeah? So you just have to say plus, <laughs> like plus January, or plus Paris, or plus London. I mean, in London you earn how much already, just leave it there, and then now plus, you know, London plus new. Otherwise, no space to write. I'm very happy with that. Because that, that means strong, you know? Strong, you can save the planet. <laughs> what? Heaven gate. Uh, if there are a certain heaven gate in the earth, or it could be increased according to the situation? It could be increased. If many people need to go to heaven, we need more gates, no? Otherwise, we're squeezing and take long queue, no? <laughs> No, heaven can do more if we are more... Normally they are fixed already, yes, but if we are more worthy, there will be more. Because in it, uh, otherwise traffic jam, no? Uh, <laughs> more heaven gates for more heaven roads, yes? So that we can uh, overtake the hell gates and hell roads. We slap it over, get it and slap it up. <laughs> Like demolishing the old and bad building and build a new beautiful luxury condos, yeah. yeah? <laughs> I, it. I also didn't think it, it it could be possible, but it is possible. It's it's going on like that now. Okay, so very good, good job, good news, yeah. wonderful. <laughs> Better than getting a boyfriend. <laughs> Such good news. <laughs> Make me more happy. <laughs> well, I have a deal with you. You have a deal with me? Yeah, I'll yeah. make a deal with you. No boyfriend, no nothing, but I have what you have with the meditation. Yeah, but I help you with meditation? meditation. Yeah. Uh-huh. You just continue it, we'll get good. But you see, because you work very hard, you're your own boss. And this job you do is very competitive. Yeah. Not that many houses keep being sell forever, you know, so... You have to be good at your job and be top of the line. Then also, plus you have lost the money before because due to your emotional trouble, you couldn't concentrate well, you didn't do well. Sometimes boyfriend don't always bring your happiness, they bring also bad luck. Hmm? So if you are not careful, you will attract bad luck through your boyfriend, like open a gate, you see what I mean? Uh, okay, like this, after initiation, you are protected, yes? But if you invite that person, the enemy, next to you, into your house, then that's your free will. We cannot do anything. It's too close already, you know? You accepted him like your own now. So <laughs> whatever he has, you have. So sometimes, if you notice that you have a boyfriend and suddenly your money keeps flowing out, then you have to stop. <laughs> But maybe at that time you're too hooked already, you're too deeply addictive to this kind of affection, then you can't, you can't get rid of him. Even if heaven told you to, even if you know it's not good, you can't. Just like that. Because you, you to stick together already like your own skin now. You see what I mean? He's, in your, he's inside your, your magnetic field already. It's like attached to it. It's very difficult, adhesive already. Very difficult to get rid of. So people are attached to this and that, or uh, men and women, because of that. Too close to, for comfort, too close to, get a, to, to escape. Yeah? Otherwise, heaven always protects you. But if you invite him, invite a thief into your house, who, what to do? Yeah? What to do? See, the police are protect you from thieves and robbers, but if you accept the robber <laughs> in your family, then he take your things and... The police is too late to come to help. Maybe you don't even want to call police to help you at that time. Okay.
It's not a deal. If you don't have a boyfriend, you have a boyfriend that has nothing to do with me. I don't have to bless you for, for, <laughs> for not having a boyfriend. <laughs> That's not a deal at all. Is it? <laughs> well, I always help you anyway, okay? Yes. And I know you're struggling and I know all your suffering, but... Well, and never mind, okay? Never mind. Whatever, just accept it, no? Or try to get rid of all your debt and then go be live in some center or something. Hmm? You have your more freedom, okay? Don't concentrate on boys for a while to concentrate on your job to get rid of all your debt and try to stabilize your life and and then earn more money. So can you be you can be free? Because if you you, you keep concentrate on men, then you you neglect in other aspects of your life. Even if I bless you, it doesn't go in there. Okay? He take it all and run. And you left empty also again. You know, people come into your life, they don't just bring things, they take things. Okay? In the old time, when people, uh, men or women, want to get married, especially men, they select wives that bring them good luck. So they have to look for all kind of astrology and stuff, you know, and cons- I say consult with the psychic and the astrologer like that. And for that reason, they they also are right in in many aspects, you know. Like in India, mostly they just arrange marriage, marriage. They don't let uh, them just fall in love at random. They compare the habit, the background of two family. They are, I say them. The status, you know, because it really affect the children, and the astrology and everything. That's why, um, I mean, until recently, uh, women and men in India are more free to fall in love and marry by themselves. Yeah? Okay, never mind, enough with that. My God, let's go back to Buddha now, okay? <laughs> Turn off the light, we meditate.